What's going on guys, my name is Karin. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my top three favorite Go Red wallets, alright? Uh, all of them look completely different and all of them are actually different colors as well. So if you guys are considering buying a Go Red wallet, hopefully this will make the decision as easy as possible because I'm going to be showing you guys them up close, giving you guys all the details and also unboxing them really quickly, alright? So if you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so just before I dive into these wallets, unbox them, uh, review them, and just go over all the details on why I picked them as my top three favorite GoRed wallets, I just want to tell you guys that the market value on each of these wallets is somewhere between $500 and $1,000, depending, obviously, who you buy from, if it has the box and duster, um, and also, obviously, if it's a brand new or not. But if you guys are trying to pay the lowest price possible for your designer, watches, and whatever else, um, make sure to message me on Instagram, at Connor.Langley. I've helped a lot of you guys so far, and if you guys are helping me by subscribing to my channel and staying active on it, I'm happy to help you guys out and get you guys the best price possible. Obviously, all my items are authentic. If you guys are looking for inauthentic item reviews, then my channel is not really for you, but yeah, just wanted to put that out there. And without further ado, let's actually dive in straight into the items. So the first item that I picked, the reason why I liked it so much was it unfolds a certain way that i really like it's sort of like a passport holder but just a little bit too small and it goes by the name saint mark wallet and obviously you guys are going to be able to see the box right here goliard brown you guys can see it was purchased from barney's um but opening it right up you guys can see right here here it is and then here is the card from goliard as well as the duster yellow duster right there and let me show you guys it so it really looks like a passport holder from the outside and maybe in this video but when you guys see it in person it's a lot smaller um, as you guys can see it's a navy colorway and it has obviously the white and the brown on the goyard monogram it's called the goyardine monogram if you guys are into that but as you guys can see really good looking wallet definitely has its wares as you guys can see by the posture of it but opening it right up, you guys can see you have a little folder, which might be a passport holder if this wallet was a lot bigger. But since it's smaller, it's going to be an ID holder. And then obviously you have a pocket right here with the in the Goyard colorway. So pull whatever else you need there, as well as the three card holders right there. So you have room for a couple credit cards, your debit card. Uh, you have room for a little bit of cash if you want to sneak it in here, as well as your ID. So... This is pretty much all you need if you're going out. So if you guys are considering this one and this one's your favorite so far, but you're just worried about room, I would say that it, it really does give you what you need in a wallet. But let me know obviously what you guys think of it. Um, and I didn't mention this yet, but the different colors go for different amounts. So usually the black, gray, white, as long as they're in good condition, are gonna go for a little bit more than the more exotic colors, such as a green, a red, and even a navy. This was probably going to be um, the most valuable out of color separate from those three. But yeah, this is definitely a good looking wallet and definitely want to consider if you guys are looking for an everyday wallet. Setting that to the side. I'll show you guys the next one. And this is one that I would pick for if I'm going out um, and all I need is my cards because I'm someone who usually pays with card if I'm going to a restaurant if I'm going shopping I always just use my credit card or my debit card. Um, you guys can have your opinions on that, but um, That's pretty much all you need and a lot of my friends also only use cards So if you're a cash holder, this probably isn't going to be for you, but this is the soul price card holder So you guys can see right here the green goyard box And I didn't mention this on the last one, but if you look closely it's actually, um, you, there's a little pattern on it. It's like 3D. Um, so you guys can see the Goyard monogram all over it, made in France. And taking the top of the box off, you guys are gonna be able to see the um, Goyard duster as well as the little Goyard card right here. So like I said, everything's completely authentic. Setting the box and the, everything else to the side, you guys are gonna be able to see the little card holder right here. Um, if you guys can't tell, this is the black colorway, um, but it still obviously has the brown and the off-white color for the Goyardine pattern on it. And you guys can see it says Goyard all over, and then it says something in French, um, Honor, Paris. It's pretty much just says Goyard made in Paris, but you guys can see this is one where 
If you guys are trying to tell if this card holder is brand new or not, the first place you're going to want to look is the corners right here. There's definitely some wear there um, because this part is obviously layered a little bit more than the top part because it starts right here. Um, but you guys can see two little card holders right here or places to put your cards. So maybe you want to put your credit cards right here. You want to. Oh, yeah. And it does also open up right here with the. Um, yellow canvas by goyard so this is obviously a softer material but still sort of a leather and yeah so obviously you guys can probably put your maybe your credit cards right here your debit card on this side maybe your id as well on the top and then you guys can squeeze whatever cash you need inside but hopefully you guys aren't carrying a bunch of ones because you really probably wouldn't want to stretch this one out and i never really put cash inside of this one when i'm using it but yeah, this is probably the most sought after one uh, because it's probably the least expensive, but is the most useful and it's probably the biggest bang for your buck considering that it fits in any pocket and it holds pretty much anything that anyone that just uses credit cards needs. But yeah, this is probably my favorite out of the ones that I'm going to show you guys. But the next one is probably going to be the popular pick, possibly. It's between this one and that one. The password holder, the same mark, um, that one might not be the most sought after or my favorite, but it's definitely the top three. That's definitely the number three. But setting this one to the side so I can show you guys probably the popular opinion or my favorite. This one's probably the most useful one. Um, this one's probably the one that's gonna wear the best and hold the most. And it is the green Victoria wallet. This one goes for the most, but it's in the most exotic color, which you'll have your own opinion on. Um, it might be worth it if, it if it's something that you're gonna keep, but on the market, it goes for a little bit less. And then it's gonna be the money green color. So before I show you guys it, I have the little Goyard Paris tag right here, the little duster as well, and also the ribbons. So Goyard gives out ribbons, as does Louis Vuitton. Then here's the card, and it's gonna have a little another little Goyard card inside of it. But yeah, I don't think you guys care too much to see that. So I will set that to the side and get right into the actual wallet and this one's probably in the best condition i probably use this one the least but what i have done is put the cards on the inside so that's pretty much where the only wear on this wallet is going to be you guys can see both sides you guys can kind of tell by the top of this wallet that it hasn't really gotten its wears because that's usually where while it's wear right here from being stretched out opened up and closed and all that but yeah you guys can already see the the little yellow canvas on the inside but opening it right up you guys can kind of see the wear. I kind of was a little bit rough putting the cards in, but you guys can see the eight little folders, four on this side, four on this side, and inside of each pocket is gonna be the yellow. And then you also have little spaces right here and right here to maybe put some extra cash, maybe. Um, what I like to do with my wallets is I like to put my business cards on the inside of it. And I'll usually put like my ID and debit card on one side and then my credit cards on the other side, but Obviously everyone's different. And then you have the little folders right here. And what I like to do is put my fives, tens, twenties, fifties right here. And then my hundreds on this side, if I am bringing this wallet out, which I definitely have the least, as you guys can tell by the exterior and the top and bottom of it. But this one's probably the popular pick. Again, this one is called the Victoria um, Goyard wallet. You guys can see the little um, stamp right here. Go Yard Paris made in France. But yeah, I'm really, really curious to know which one of these wallets you guys like the most and which ones you guys end up buying. So if you guys end up buying any of these, make sure to let me know down in the comments which one you guys decided on. And even tell me why, because I'm genuinely curious. I would definitely say if I had to guess, most of you guys are probably going to go for the card holder. But maybe it's this one. You never know. But again, I will reinstate that. If you guys are looking for the best prices possible, I can't emphasize it enough. Those of you guys who have reached out to me, you guys know I will give you guys the best prices possible out of anyone on any sort of design. I, I can get what you need. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you guys are looking for something, message me on Instagram at Connor.Langley. I'll make sure to leave it down in the description. And yeah, again, if you guys got anything on this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as that really, really helps me out. And I'd be a little bit discouraged to help you guys out in your search for the item that you're looking for if you guys can't really support me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.